Hey guys, I'm Ejin Des. Today I'm going to talk about onsen. So, as most of you probably know, onsen, or like Japanese hot springs,、um, is a Japanese, very Japanese pastime where people just get naked and bathe together. It's not actually as weird as it sounds, maybe as I'm describing it right now. In America, we don't do that at all. There are no onsen in America whatsoever.、Um, because Americans are very personal, <laughs> very individualistic.、Um, our bodies are our own, they are ours, and to expose ourselves to other people is a very intimate, very close, personal thing. Now, we do have situations like onsen、um, in locker rooms or like in the military. There are shower rooms、uh, where people do see each other shower and, you know. Bathe themselves.、Um, that's kind of like onsen, but onsen is a little different in that you actually wash yourself first before you get into the hot spring, and the hot spring's purpose is for relaxation. And actually, friends will, will, friends will go to onsen together.、Um, Co workers can go to onsen. I know an American couple here who did onsen with their Japanese friends regularly for quite a while. Yeah. It, this is a very Japanese, very Japanese experience, and if you're gonna be in Japan for a while, you're bound to experience onsen at some point in your life. And、uh, I experienced onsen. Actually, I had a friend of mine asking me for a few times to go, and I was, every time I was just like,、mm, no, sorry, I'm. T- no. <laughs> It's very. I don't want to say embarrassing, there's a lot of factors that go into why people don't want to try onsen or think onsen is weird. Like, there's a lot of factors. But onsen is, from an American perspective, strange, weird, unnatural, embarrassing. What will people think of you when they look at you all exposed like that? Why would you want to expose yourself like that in front of other people? Is it really that great an activity to do? All of those things are what I thought until I actually experienced onsen. A group of three friends and I went to basically a mountain. And on the side of that mountain, there is a really great、uh, onsen. And when we went, it was like snowing so crazily. like... It was just insane, just white everywhere. You could barely see. It was, it was like a snowstorm, it was crazy. But it was the perfect opportunity to go to onsen because onsen is super, super hot and it was super, super cold outside. So it was like, ah, so nice. Anyways, so we get to this really fancy onsen place. It was actually quite cheap.、Um, we had to bring our own towels. Of course, you could purchase a towel, but if you got one, you might as well just bring it. Which I did, and then we, we went in, we paid, we put our shoes and our valuables in a locker. Then we went to the boys' room, <laughs> which is marked with a blue kind of tapestry, and then the, the girls' one is marked with like a red tapestry. We went into the boys' changing room, <laughs> or what I like to call the stripping room. <laughs> And yeah, you, you just you strip. Everyone's, there's people in there with no clothes, there's people in there with clothes. It's, it's a wonderful old time. It's wonderful. Did it feel weird at the time? For me, I was always a little bit kind of had that weird feeling like, this is so weird. Why am I doing this? What am I doing on this trip? The whole reason I agreed to go on this trip was because, you know, I'm going to experience it sometime or later. Might as well just get it over with.、Um, And it's a very unique Japanese experience. So, since I'm studying Japanese, I should try this. And I did. But again, the feeling up until the point of actually going to the onsen was this is so weird. Like, what am I getting myself into? Ah. But, like, what really, really helps is the fact that everyone else around you 
is not feeling weird, is not feeling embarrassed. It's completely normal for them. And that really, really, really helped me, like, calm down. And I was just like, okay, if everyone's cool about this, I guess I can be too, you know? That kind of scary feeling, that weird factor kind of goes away. And so without that kind of weirdness factor, I was able to go in and actually enjoy the onsen. It was super freaking hot and my whole body went totally red because it was so freaking hot and I don't do well with extreme temperatures. But like, it was so nice. It's like a hot tub except you don't have any clothes. And oh, it was so relaxing. And it's actually fun to be, to relax like that with your friends. There's something about being naked with your friends that really draws you closer, I will say. Anyways, <laughs> the, on the particular onsen that we went to had an inside portion and an outside portion, and because it was freaking snowing, it's so darn cold, we started, on the we started with the inside uh, portion first because uh, just to warm up before we went outside, and then we went outside and like, it was so cold. So cold. We just we built there was snow all around the water. So like we built a little snowman and we started firing snowballs at it and it, I don't know, it was fun. And actually we were in the water for less time than I thought we were gonna be. It was kind of quick and I was like, oh, I was actually enjoying this. I wanna stay longer. <laughs> but you know, you gotta follow everybody. So I had to get up. Actually, it was so hot. And I had gotten so used to the hot water that when I got out, I felt really dizzy and I kind of like had to uh, lay down on the floor. I, just, I was like, oh God, just leave me, I'm fine. Go on without me, tell my mom I love her. <laughs> but it was, a, it was a actually good positive experience and I want to do onsen again. Once you do it once, it's not as scary or as weird or as creepy uh, as it is the next time so I'm actually looking forward to onsen and if you are in Japan for a long period of time and you have the opportunity to do onsen and you don't care <laughs> or you maybe you do care a little bit about you know the weirdness factor try it just do it and see what happens so that was my own sense story. Hopefully I get this published today. If not, um, I'm very, very sorry. It's final exam week here at my university, so I'm a little stressed, a little overwhelmed. There's a birthday party today I have to go to, and I'm just so bad as I. <sighs> It'll be fine. Hope to see you guys next week. Peace.